I can't wait to see this video because my hair is still drying, so I want to see how like it changes through the video. I want to get fluffy. Hey, it's Jay. So I know I make YouTube videos like once every couple of months because I'm lazy. But if you've seen any of my videos and if you're looking at me right now, you know I have a lot of piercings. I love piercings. Piercings make me so happy. When I'm older, I want to be like a pro piercer. I also want to make my own jewelry, which would be so dope. So currently I have 20 piercings. I've had more, but you know, things migrate, things get a little wonky, a little infected, so you gotta take them out. So I'm gonna show you all of my piercings and then I'm gonna talk about the piercings that I want to get because oh my God, there's so many piercings I wanna get. But we're gonna start from like down up. Kids warning, you're not allowed to do this until you're 18. First piercing we have is the tetas. I got my nipples pierced about a year ago. Actually, exactly a year ago. Nipple piercing pain was like, a six out of 10. Most painful piercing, hands down. They hurt pretty bad. Well, the first night was really painful. Like that's when I was in like the most pain. But for like a week after that, I kept bleeding on my sheets. So if you get your nipples pierced, use dark bed sheets. They're mad cute though, highly recommend. When they heal, they just make you feel so cute about your tetas. I know I'm really insecure about my chest. So like if you're insecure about your chest, get them. Okay, so now to the face. My most recent piercing is my smiley. I know we're not really like in the place to be doing under the mask piercings right now, but I do piercings, so I pierced it myself. The pain was like a one out of 10, literally a pinch. I pierced it a week ago and I'm chilling, I'm fine. Healing is so fast. It's, mine isn't healed completely yet, but it's only been like five days and I'm not having any issues with it at all. I think it's the cutest thing. If you like getting into fights, like like fights, don't get this piercing because if you get hit in the face, your teeth are gone. If you get this piercing, just make sure that you regularly check your gums and your teeth enamel and check for damage. If you see any damage, take it out immediately. Next, we have my septum. My septum was one of like the first big piercings I got. It was my first face piercing. This was the game changer. This is when I knew that I would have like a million piercings when I got my septum pierced. Pain, two out of 10. I would suggest not getting it when it's cold outside because it crusts up way faster and moving your upper lip hurts so bad. Next, we have my nostril piercings. I have a double nostril right here. I think that they look good with hoops. I don't think they look that good with studs, but you know, to each their own. The thing with piercing pain is that it's not like certain things hurt more than others, is that it's a different kind of pain. My nostrils were more like a stinging and my eyes watered. I also didn't do them all at once. I did this one, the back one, first and then the front one like a year later but again yeah a two out of ten just expect some eye watering and uh, make sure you consistently push up your glasses if you have glasses so now to my ears so we're gonna do the right ear first the first piercing that i ever got besides the one that i got when i was a baby was my industrial oh mamashita i kind of did a little stupid thing but i mean it was my first piercing so i'll forgive myself i got this side pierced at claire's and I had like a little stud there and I let it heal. Da -da -da -da. I didn't even fully let it heal, which is the crazy thing. Also, it's too low. It should have been higher. So you see, I have a flexible bar in right now. Whenever I have a solid metal bar in, it makes an indent in my ear because this one is way too low. So then I went to a professional piercer and I had him, and I wanted him to do it through here. And he was like, no, you shouldn't. And I was like, yes, I want it there. I should have listened to him, honestly. I could have had an extra piercing on the bottom. The first one is always gonna be a two out of 10, but the second one's gonna be three. When you get two, like more than one piercing in one go, the first one always hurts the least because you have this full on adrenaline rush and like you're freaking out about your piercing and blah, blah, blah. you feel the pain and then the adrenaline rush goes away because you're not dying. So then the other piercings start to hurt more. Just get it pierced in one shot. Don't be a wuss, just do it. Then we've got my conch. Oh, this is such a cute little pink gem. This is not what I got it pierced with, but I love this. My conch was probably one of the easiest to forget about when I was healing. Like I could sleep on it. Like it's so inside of my ear that when I sleep on it like this, it didn't hurt. I don't recommend sleeping on fresh piercings, but this one I could get away with it. It healed really fast too, it was really good. Two at a time. Then I got all my lobes. I have four lobe piercings. I used to have kind of looks like snake eyes on the bottom of your ear. And if you look carefully, you can see the little scars. I used to like like heavier jewelry and it would pull down on the bar and it starts to migrate. Now I'm not really into heavier jewelry and I kind of want to get it pierced on this side again, but we'll talk about that later. Besides the point, low piercings. I got two of these done 
elsewhere and I did two of these on my own. I did this one and this one. Quarantine things, you know, you just get real frisky. If you're scared of getting new piercings, but you really want new piercings, just get another low piercing, see how you feel about it. It's the easiest way to start and it will heal in a month. Now to my left ear. This one's a little more edgy looking. I feel like this is my socially acceptable piercing ear. This is the one that makes people scared of me. The first piercing that I ever got pierced in this ear, besides my first lobes, was my date. I don't know why I had to go so hard, but like I went for like the really crazy piercings first. So my date, not gonna lie, the piercing itself took a while because that skin here is so thick that it requires like a lot of force, but not too much force. So it took him about 20 seconds in total for the needle to go through because he didn't want to hurt me. He got infected a lot, not gonna hold you. But it's a really cute piercing. Um, this is the one that's supposed to be for migraines, Dike. If you want to get this piercing to cure your migraines, I think, and double check this, don't trust me on this. I believe it's whatever side is on the opposite side of your migraines, you should get pierced. And only if you get it pierced in a very, very specific acupuncture point, it will help your migraines. But if you get it pierced there, it's supposed to help. I don't know if I got it pierced it because that wasn't really the purpose. I just think it looks cute. I also did my lobes here. I only have three on this side, um, but I do want to get my transverses back. You see the scar? Cutie baby. So I also have my tragus. The tragus is really easy to forget about too because any piercings that are closer to like where there's blood flow will heal faster. So for example, Helixes will heal slower because there's not a lot of blood flow there because it's so like, it's like an extremity almost. Whereas your tragus is really close to your face. So it will heal faster. Mine healed in like a month, had absolutely no problems with it. And every time I've pierced someone else's tragus, they have had no issues with it. I think the first tragus I pierced was fine until they went to the barber shop and the barber hit it with the razor. So be careful of that. If you're gonna get your hair cut, do it before you get a tragus piercing or any piercing. My helixes, I pierced both of them by myself. They're such a pain in the butt to heal. Like they really suck for healing. This one took forever to heal, but it's finally healed. This one is currently healing and I pierced it a couple months ago, in my dorm room. <laughs> but yeah, for helixes, just treat it as if it was a baby without a skeleton. So that's all of my piercings so far. The piercings that I did on my own were my two helixes, my upper lobe on the left, upper lobe and my stacked lobe on the right. My outer nose ring. I also pierced my belly three times. Migrated every single time. <laughs> if when you slouch over, your belly rolls over your belly button, be really careful about belly piercings. Belly piercings are the most common piercings to migrate out. Besides a surface bar, and surface bars will migrate out just because the piercer puts in the wrong jewelry. Y'all wanna see my scars? So I pierced the top one twice, so you can see two entry points, and I pierced my bottom one once. And they did pretty good, and I took care of them. I pierced them pretty well, pretty straight, and they just migrated out. The first one lasted um, about nine months. Then I did my lower one, and it lasted four months. <laughs> And then I did my upper and it probably would have lasted longer, but I already started seeing the migration happen. And I was like, like, I don't want a nasty scar. So I just took it out early. I only had it in for like two, three months. So for the piercing that I want, I'll make this really quick. Cause I know y'all don't care. First off, ear snake eyes. It's time. I want them back. I also want like one stud here. Cause I like studs. They're really cute. I just don't think that studs look good with a double nostril. So I want to have one here just so I could like wear cute studs and I want them to be things like items like I already got a pack like I'm already planning for it I got a little bumblebee I'm about to look so far right. I've been thinking about getting a lip ring I just don't know exactly which one I want and I don't know like how committed I am to it it's starting to go away <laughs> I live near a police station I wanna get my tongue pierced. I had my snake eyes like a year ago, but like snake eyes are just such a bad idea. I would say if you really, really want snake eyes, get it pierced, but short term, like take it out after a couple months. It'll heal after a week and you can enjoy it until it starts to like really irritate you and pull out your tongue muscles and hit your teeth a lot and you can't roll your R's anymore. Whole bunch of things, whole bunch of things. I want a regular tongue bar. I don't know if I want two, like on one on each side or just one, but I do want a tongue ring. I think I want a surface bar, but I don't know if I want it here or here. 
And then I want my other tragus pierced on this side. I've seen a lot of people get like, like over their industrial three separate labrets like with little spikes on them and i think that's sick i think that's so cool and because i have so much space up here i want to do that i'm gonna do it so yeah that's it i'll see you guys in a couple months ah. actually maybe not because i want to dye my hair orange maybe i'll make a video of that i don't know we'll see don't hold me to it love you kisses mean it drink your water